हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कांस्टेंट कोफिशिएंट सो एज यू कैन सी द प्रॉब्लम इज d स्क्वायर प्लस d प्लस 1 ऑपरेटिंग ऑन y इक्वल्स टू x क्यूब सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन फॉलोड बाय दैट वी विल फाइंड द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल सो फॉर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन वी नीड टू फर्स्ट राइट द ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन which is just replace this d by m so m square plus m plus 1 equated to 0 let's use the quadratic formula to solve it so m equals to minus of b plus minus under root b square minus 4 to a to c divided by 2a and a is 1 minus under root under root of minus 3 so you can write that as root 3 iota because under root minus 1 is iota this is what we have got so because it's a complex root so we know how to write complementary function in case of complex roots this is your a minus half is your a and root 3 by 2 is your b so e power ax so minus half into x so minus x by 2 c1 cos bx Plus c two sine b x. Complementary function done. Coming to particular integral. That is one upon f of d, which is d square plus d. This will operate on x cube. So whenever you have x power n type. how to find particular integral we try to write this function of d in, in terms of 1 plus x power n time okay or x power minus n to be precise let's see Operating on x cube, so if this will go up, this can be written as operating on x cube. So you know the expansion of one plus x power minus one. That is one minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x power four. and so on so this clearly sees that one in place of one you have in place of x you have d plus d square so let's check the derivatives of x cube first so the first derivative d by dx is same as capital d so the first derivative is d of x cube simple 3x square second derivative is derivative of the first derivative 3x square derivative is 6x third derivative will be nothing but differentiate this derivative second derivative once more so you'll get 6 fourth derivative that is going to zero and uh, dk x cube equals to zero for x uh, k equals to 4 5 6 and so on 
that means from all the values of k all the higher derivative from four derivative onwards are going to give you zero fine so from this term i am not going to uh, separately find because i am i know these are going to give me zero so my particular integral will be this expansion will be 1 minus x plus x square so d plus d square whole square will be d square 2d cube and then uh, I have uh, the this term which is cube so d plus d square whole cube a cube a plus b whole cube a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b a plus b so 3 d cube And this complete pretty good x cube. So keep on multiplying. So your particular integral will be 1 multiplied by x cube is going to give you x cube minus d of x cube. So first derivative of x cube gave you th minus 3x square. d square of x cube. Second derivative was uh, 6x. So minus of 6x. Again, d square x cube. Second derivative was 6x. Third derivative was 6 multiplied by 2. Fourth derivative, 0. Again, third derivative was 6. So, minus of 6. 6 derivative was 0, 3 d power 4, again that will also give you 0, d power 5, 3 d power 5, again 0. So, this is cancelling out, 12 minus 6 is plus 6, this is your particular integral. Finally, y is cf plus pi. So, y will be cf was e power minus x by 2 c1 cos root 3 by 2 x plus c2 and plus this pi which you have got recently x cube minus 3x square plus 6. So this is how we solve this problem. Uh, was not complex if you know how to find particular in integral in case it is x power n type and also how to find the complementary function in case it is complex. So if you know both of these things you are going to easily calculate this problem. Hope to see you with more of these. You can check out my playlist which is on ordinary differential equation for more such problems. Thanks again.